LibreOffice 6.2 brings a new user interface design, extra features, better compatibility, and performance improvements. The Notebook Bar is a new but optional user interface. It unifies toolbars and groups them into tabs, helping you to work smarter and faster. It's not enabled by default, so to try it, go to View in the menu, User Interface, and choose Tabbed. Now you can switch between the tabs to access different features and options, all neatly grouped together. To find out more what a button does, just hover the mouse pointer over it. Quick shortcut buttons are in the top left for saving a document, undo, redo and printing. You can also open the full menu here. If you want to go back to the regular interface, simply go to View, User Interface and choose Standard Toolbar. An alternative notebook bar design called Grouped Bar Compact is also available. This gives you quick access to common features and drop-down menus to access more of them. To return to the regular interface, click Menu, User Interface, Standard Toolbar. Many improvements have been made to OOXML and EMF support, especially for charts and animations, for even better compatibility with Microsoft Office documents. In addition, OOXML Agile encryption has been implemented, along with HMAC verification for enhanced document security. Signature lines can now be signed with an image of a handwritten signature. The help system now has faster filtering of index keywords, highlighting your search term as you type, and displaying results based on the selected module. Context menus have been tidied up to be more consistent across the different components in the suite. Finally, LibreOffice's personalization dialog is faster, more efficient and more stable. In Writer, you can now directly copy spreadsheet data into tables, instead of just inserting them as objects. When you're exporting a document, UTF-8 and UTF-16 encoded text may now be saved without the byte order mark. LibreLogo, the programming interface for graphic design and education, has got unit testing, compiler fixes and other improvements. When you're tracking changes in a document, performance is much faster now, especially in large documents. In the spreadsheet, it's now possible to do multivariate regression analysis using the regression tool. In addition, many more statistical measures are now available in the analysis output. Meanwhile, data validation now supports custom formulas. A new function, regex, was added to match text against a regular expression and optionally replace it. When you're editing an animation, you can now change the motion path by dragging its control points. A couple of text-related drawing styles were added, while a table submenu was added to the format menu in Draw. LibreOffice Online, the cloud-based version of the suite, includes many improvements too. On mobile devices, the user interface has been simplified, with better responsiveness and updates to the on-screen keyboard. Meanwhile, security has been strengthened with Verine-compatible authentication and document signing, along with a new signing info bar.